If you thought you could handle your liquor, just wait till you check out the main character over in Flower Bud Village. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game Theory. Or should I Stop, stop, stop. This isn't game theory, it's Tasty Games Theory. The show on the internet that isn't afraid to mix science with video game scenarios that involve food or drinks. Or in this case, 28 drinks. Why 28? Well, let me just dive right in then. You see, in the game Harvest Moon 64, you take on the role of a farmer. And throughout the year, you have several holidays, or festivals rather, and on the first of each year, there is a New Year's festival held in the town square. During this holiday festival, it is a tradition to have a drink when you talk with someone and engage in conversation. You know, so when you hang out with your fellow neighbors, you greet them and you have a toast. It's a real nice and, and easy going holiday. Thing is, though, if you keep talking to everyone that is there, including talking to the same person again, what will end up happening is you will eventually outdrink them, and essentially you can be the last man standing. Some will leave after one or two drinks, but others can really hold their liquor. In fact, if you manage to last till the end of the day, you will have had a total of 28 drinks. And this leaves us with uh, more than a few questions, but the big ones being, what would this do to your character and how would he survive? What is his alcohol level? You know, in order to answer these questions, we need to figure out some basic things first, and then we're going to have to do some math. So that's right, we're going to have a nice educational video. So, hang on to your monitor, because you're about to learn all, everything, about alcohol. So drink it in. Zing! <laughs> okay. Alright, all right, moving on. So now, looking at the questions I posed, the first things we gotta do is figure out what type of alcohol are they having. This one was a mini leap of faith, but during the celebration the drinks are all red. And there are two types of red alcoholic beverages in the game. Wine and liquor. Now this makes me wonder exactly what liquor is in this game. As we also have beer, which is brown. So it's clearly not beer. So beer is beer. I assume that wine is wine and that liquor is a mixed drink. So wine makes more sense for this type of occasion. So, let's go with wine. Next is, how big are the glasses of wine? Well, all of them to be pretty much in bottles. And they're about the size of human beings in the game. But then again, so are all items. They're just blown up out of proportion so we can see what they're, what they're holding. And since it's a bottle, it makes me think of mason jars. You see, mason jars are perfect in this type of world because canned goods being on a farm, preservatives, they would all have mason jars in their home, so there'd be a plentiful amount of them. And if you're unfamiliar with this concept of drinking out of them, well, a lot of barbecue joints are introducing that if they haven't already had it for decades, so you might just notice the next time you're even in the city. Now the average mason jar holds 16 ounces, but for a party it would be acceptable to say that they're just using the 8 ounce variety. So now that we have established that they are drinking wine out of 8 ounce mason jars, we still have a couple more things to figure out. Now with the early to bed, early to rise lifestyle of these people, specifically our main character, I would imagine that the party lasted from 9 in the morning to 6 p.m., equaling 9 total hours. The next one is, what is the alcohol's content level? Well the average is about 12%, uh, give or take 1.5% due to regulations. I'm going to also assume that our character weighs 150 pounds because looking at concept art photos of him he seems to be kind of short and uh, he doesn't seem to be exceptionally well built so basically we have red wine in eight ounce mason jars our character is 150 pounds having drinks over the course of nine hours and can assume that maybe there's 150 calories in the wine so now that we got all of that data we're gonna do some math to figure out your alcoholic percentage. Woo! Math! Yeah! Now we're really getting somewhere. I love math. 
So, and I know you guys do too. Uh, I assume you guys. Okay, so, so the formula is your blood alcohol content percentage equals the following. There it is on the screen. <laughs> Beautiful formula. So for this formula, we have A equals ounces times 12% alcohol. Uh, the 5.14 is a standard conversion factor for liquid ounces of weight. W is for the person's actual weight. R is the alcoholic distribution ratio, which is 0.73 for men and 0.66 for women. H is the hours spent drinking. And lastly, 0.015 is the average alcoholic elimination rate. So once we put all this into our math machine and also using some round numbers, we get a blood alcohol contact percentage of 1.825%. Wow! A level of 0.35 to 0.5. It can cause unconsciousness, depressed or abolished reflexes, abnormal body temperature, a coma, and possible death from respiratory paralysis. Basically, we should not be functioning at all right now. And at the beginning of the game, you start just a couple days after missing the first festival and you can't hold your liquor at all. Like seriously, there is no way. And, and this didn't even take into effect of drinking on an empty stomach and nor the fact that your stomach can only handle two to five liters before rupturing. He drinks 224 ounces, which is about 6.6 .6 liters. So somehow we have survived two to three times the amount of the typical death of a human being. And we somehow survived stomach rupture. And I have no idea what happens when you're on an empty stomach. I couldn't even figure that out. I tried researching it. I came up empty. And you know, the weird thing is all these other characters that you out drink, they show signs of being you know, a little tipsy and some of them just say, Ooh, getting a little flustered. I got to go home. Whew. If we actually did the math for what they're drinking, they fall within the realm of reality. For example, Karen is the one who has the most drinks. I think she has five. Basically, she would fall around that range of, you know, really being drunk and just she's gotta go home and she's learning her speech and all stuff she'd be fine she'd live all the others same deal i mean it everything it works perfectly with these eight ounce assumptions that it's just mind-boggling that we can drink that much so comes the theory part of this and it's a really weird one it's very out there and i hope you guys don't <laughs> think i'm nuts but if you are familiar with the show Futurama, then you are familiar with a robot named Bender. He is a robot in the future that gets energy from drinking alcohol. And I feel that some sort of mysterious work is applied here. I think that there is something about our main character that is just not right. And maybe there's some sort of scientific experiment happening on our main character. I mean, we don't know his history. Anything is possible. I think he is a science experiment in some capacity. I just don't know what. I am perplexed about this, and I need to know what you guys think, because I am at a complete loss. I really don't know what to think of the matter. But you know, it's just a theory. A tasty games theory. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome to the very uh, end part of the show, and I would just like to say that this video was inspired. Uh, by game theory almost an entire year ago <laughs> i started writing the script for this it is my own project and is no way affiliated with matt pat that is you know he and i have tweeted back and forth a couple times but uh, he had nothing to do with it that voice at the beginning was taken from one of his introductions uh, he did not help me with this he is not affiliated with this this is all my entire creation so if you liked what you saw uh, of course, you can always hit that thumbs up button, you know, the like button, but subscribing and leaving a comment and sharing with your friends is more important than anything else. So I really am glad that I can make this video. I'm sorry if it was <laughs> really long, but I just wanted to get that out. Uh, so the short and skinny of it is if you want to see more videos like this in the future, 
albeit more streamlined. This was my first attempt at this, and clearly there was no real humor <laughs> built into it. It was almost all science. It was all just math. Uh, and it could have been longer if I explained it all. <laughs> I, could, I could try something like this again in the future, but this was just mind-blowing to me. I wanted to see what the math was because no one has, had done it up until this point. And I think it's fascinating. I think science is a wonderful thing. So I'd like to uh, say thank you for watching. And you guys, you know, the theorists, everyone out there, science can be a great thing. And applying it to video games, I think, is a wonderful teaching tool. So I would love to do this again in the future. Before this video ends, I would like to actually tell you a fun fact about a man in Roclaw, Portland, who actually had a level higher than our character of 1.48%. He actually managed to get into a car accident of all things. Of course, he happens to still be alive, get into a car accident, and then survives the car accident, at least for a little while. He actually ends up dying at the hospital. Uh, I think that's where he died, and it was because of injuries, injuries, injuries related to the accident. It had nothing to do with his alcohol intake. There have been countless people who have never made it that high, and certainly it's not going to become a trend for people to be able to drink that much. But the case in point is, people can survive. Our main character could theoretically survive, but could he function to get up at the next day at six in the morning, have a breakfast and go to work? Honestly, no. So even if he did survive, I just on that ground alone, the fact that he's able to get up and work the next day, I don't, I don't see that being a possibility. So something is not right here. So thank you all. And I will see you guys on another episode of Tasty Games or maybe one of our other shows. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.